Hello you guys, so what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bianca. I am exhausted. It's 12, almost 12.30. And all I've done today is wake up, feed Sutton, go for a walk, put her down for a nap, at her, hung out with her. Now she's down for her second nap of the day. And I am in the Starbucks drive-thru. I was gonna go to my cute little coffee shop that I found in the last vlog, but I have a free Starbucks drink, so. We're in the Starbucks drive through But I'm going to get virtually the same order and compare. Because I normally get the brown sugar shake and espresso. Which I love literally so much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch it up today. And we're going to try and do an iced latte. You're fine. Can I please get a venti iced latte with oat milk and sugar for you vanilla? Did I tell you why I'm exhausted? Sutton woke up every hour last night for the past two nights. So every hour in the middle of the night for the past two nights. So last night I ended up feeding her at three, five, and seven. And I'm just tired, man. Like I'm so ready for this sleep regression to be over. I don't know when it's gonna end, but let's even see. Is she still napping? Her naps last 30 minutes. I just don't, I just don't know. She's still sleeping, so that's good. It's really hard to function when you don't get sleep every night. So, and obviously I'm up more than Colin because I'm the one who feeds her. So, yeah, it's just like really rough. And then it's really rough not to be hard on yourself for not like having good habits, like waking up early. Like we did go on a walk today, but it was like an afternoon walk. It was like a 10 a.m. walk. Um, like go on a walk, eat your breakfast, get a lot of things done, start working. Like I just feel so like... I don't know annoyed I guess and I can't really be annoyed like yeah, this is just like you know I'm very very thankful that I have this job and that I can do this and that this is what I'm doing full-time as well as being like a mom but oh my god I can't even imagine if I was going through a sleep regression and had to go to a nine-to-five job like I I I am so lucky I'm so thankful I am oh man I think about that literally every day about how thankful I am for you guys like it literally because of you guys I get to do this and I am so thankful because she's four months now like if I had a corporate nine to five job I would be going to work and she'd have to go to like daycare or something which is also insanely expensive like it's just crazy but anyways you can't like be hard on yourself because it's like what are you gonna do about it you know you're just at this point you're just surviving and you're trying to make it through That's good. I think I like the little coffee shop one better though. I'm not kidding. I'm telling you guys, little coffee shops are it. Okay, Starbucks is good, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, I'm obsessed with Starbucks, absolutely yes. But, cute little coffee shops have really good lattes. Let it be known. That I think I'm in my getting coffee from coffee shops instead of Starbucks era. But she was free, so we did get her today. But tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's a workout day, so we will be drinking an energy drink. We'll have one. Can you get paper towels? No, but I can. Okay. You don't have to get like a big roll. Maybe just like a roll of two because they might be more expensive wherever you are. Okay. And then I'll um, probably end up going to Target in the next couple days because that's how I roll. Okay. Um... Is it just me or is like Celsius really hard to find? Like I just always can never find it at grocery stores now. So you couldn't like even you couldn't even find it at Walmart? I did, but they didn't have peach mango, they just had like watermelon orange. I'm at the grocery store and he was supposed to get Celsius, but I guess he can't find any. So I'm gonna look up if there's a shortage because I haven't been able to find peach mango, which is my favorite flavor in weeks. And then when he gets back, I'm going to hop in the shower because I have content that I need to shoot today for Instagram, TikTok, and um, stories for Sundays, Murphy's dog food. So we're excited about it. In between naps, I worked on getting my hair done. So I'm glad that we did that. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup for the campaign that I have to shoot. So... Like, when I say a little bit, I literally mean a little bit. So, just can, probably just concealer and blush, eyebrows, and mascara, which is, like, exactly what I was doing when we went to the beach. 
and it was working really well. Concealer brows. I need to get my brows done so bad. Um, so I need to go online and book an appointment. But I also really want to get them like um, what's it called? What is it called? Wesley and does it. Um, laminated. Goodness, why couldn't I remember that? I really want to get my brows laminated because I just think brows are such a defining feature of your face, obviously. And it'd just be nice if they looked pretty good all the time. But also, like, is it worth it? I don't know. If you've got your brows la laminated, comment down below and tell me if it's worth it or not. I'm gonna blush up. My mom's coming over later to see Sutton um, and to just kind of, like, watch her for us because Colin and I both have a lot of work to get done today. So that's nice. Gigi's here. My mom just left and I finished shooting all my stuff so that worked out really well. Then we ran to the dog park and Sutton got her bath. Someone was supposed to come pick up the frame from Facebook Marketplace, the bed frame. And they didn't show up. So that's great. And yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But... Um, we're gonna like do our normal bedtime routine so Colin does bath and changes her and then I feed her and get her to bed while he starts to cook. I'm going to work on that. Tonight we're doing one of our every plate meals and I wanted to thank every plate for sponsoring this video. So as you guys know we have been using every plate for months now and we absolutely love every plate is actually 25% less expensive than grocery shopping and it is one of America's best value meal kits for delicious dinners that do not break the bank. You can choose between 17 recipes that change every single week and swap proteins and sides to your liking so you can switch up your dinner routine however you want. The meals come prepackaged and are delivered right to your door so it's super convenient and you don't have to worry about what you want to make for dinner because everything is delivered right to you down to the exact ingredient that you need. So every plate offers options for everybody so you can choose from the classic plate, veggie plate, family plate, and easy plate. And also as you guys know every plate stands out over other meal kit delivery services because of their price point and with us being a new family we are loving how you can still get the same delicious meals at a much lower price. So you guys can get your first box for just $1.79 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering the code Bianca179. Again, that's everyplate.com and then my discount code is Bianca179. I cannot recommend enough and we love getting our Everyplate boxes each month. Clearly we love every plate and I'll have everything you guys need to know in the description box below so you can get a discount off of your first order and Colin made the pork flatas as you guys saw so I'm going to give it a little taste test. Mm. So good. ability of us being asked to like go to for you like he was able to... Yeah, what you need to Hi. What are you doing? We're having a pool day. Did the morning shift, made the bed, opened the blinds, fed Sutton, put Sutton down for a nap, made breakfast. Sutton woke up in the middle of me making breakfast, laid on the couch with her, and now we're changed because we're doing a little pool day. My mom is also joining us because her pool is closed. There goes the flamingo. Crash, crash and burn. It's on the Montana thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, I haven't even told the vlog yet. I'm wicked excited. It's a western. So oh, and going to Montana and sit talking about. Oh. We've been. It's beautiful. It um, Colin so beautiful. is working on a western film in Montana in September, and it's actually a really big it's deal. Here we go, as you remember. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I 
was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Ready to go to sleep? Are you ready to go nighty night? You ready? Ready for sleep time? I gotta shut this so it gets dark in here. Oh. I know. I gotta get ready for you. Hey. Already. Already. Good night, you guys. Good night. Good night. Now, this is my favorite color right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the nail color that I got, Mod About You, whenever I got my nails done that one time, is my favorite nail color I've ever gotten. I just sit there and I stare at it. Like, I really, really like this color. I'm in my, like, pink era. I'm usually in my pink era, but I'm really in my pink era right now. But, hello. It's now a new day. We had a big family day yesterday. My mom came over. We went to the pool. I honestly just didn't feel like vlogging. I felt like being more present in the moment and enjoy um, the time with my family. And now I'm pulling up to Orange Theory, and I'm going to take a 1045. We're going to have a good day, despite my sleep deprivation situations and I keep putting my energy drinks or like put your pre-workout in a cup and it feels elite I promise I promise it's so good I have not taken pre-workout ever since I found out I was pregnant so over a year now and I do miss it but I kind of don't I don't know if I'm gonna take pre-workout ever again we'll see it's my Alani new mimosa energy drink but only half because I can't drink the whole thing I might grab lunch while I'm out because I need to go to the grocery store so if I have time to do that after, I will. Three, two, and one more side trip. She does look big. I have a shower, home, bed set, and also, I just need to tell you guys, she's almost taken a two hour nap which is crazy but it's pretty much a typical sunday over here we had some visitors today so colin's mom and my brother-in-law came over earlier and they brought us chipotle so i didn't end up going to get lunch after my workout because colin texted me while i was working out and told me that they were coming over and it was actually so nice because like one i love when they come over but also i was cleaning the entire time that they were here um, which was on my to-do list today was to kind of like have a little reset so we can start off Monday with a clean place So right now we just have laundry going. I just organized underneath our bathroom sinks and that was nice um, Colin's in the shower. He actually has they're shooting a scene tonight for a film that he's already worked on but they need to like reshoot something So they're going to shoot that tonight and my mom's coming over later and then after my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law left my mom and her best friend came over to see son for a little bit and then after they're like going to the movies or something and then they're coming back but we have made the bed we've basically just done like all the sunday things someone hopefully is coming to get this bed frame tomorrow but yeah everything's pretty clean so the only thing that i really love to work on is the nursery but she's sleeping so i'm not going to do that yet and then laundry going obviously have to change it and then my closet all right full closet clean out this is literally my progress all this is a mess but we're slowly filling these and figuring out what i want to do with them um, believe it or not, I've made a lot of progress because I've got that whole box full of things I want to sell and that's a totally different box than the last time I showed you guys. Like it's, it's new. Um, the other clothes are in a bag in my car right now. Um, that's clothes. I just want to get away like they're bad giveaway, like throw away, bad quality, like just old looking, not going to sell. No one wants them. Trust me. Um, and then like gonna go through that after and kind of get rid of things I don't want anymore. Um, got a bunch of hangers right there. More dirty clothes, I'm pretty sure, but I need to go through them. Shoes, 
go through them. Shoes are in the back. I'm rethinking what I want to do with those drawers. Anyways, I've just been in here doing that, listening to the I Love You So Much podcast. Button to sleep, and then for dinner, I got takeout. So, I don't get to do this very often, but I have a night all to myself until Colin comes home later tonight. So, I'm going to eat my takeout. I think I'm going to read my book maybe watch a show actually they just put the other woman on hbo max i think so i might watch that movie because colin doesn't like to love chick flicks like that but i do sometimes so i think i'm gonna watch the other woman and eat my takeout and it's really gonna be a moment i don't get this off i don't get this opportunity very often so i'm a really excited honestly I got a sushi roll. It's like a shrimp tempura kind of roll. And then I got some chicken with vegetables and rice. She's woken up a few times, but she's still in her crib. I put her to bed in her, okay, did I even mention this? So lately she's been sleeping really good in her crib. Today she took a two and a half hour nap. So I put her to bed in her crib thinking maybe that'll help her not wake up every single hour. So, so far, she has woken up not every hour but like she's woken up a couple times and i'm just pat, like pat her back because i have her sleeping on her stomach and i don't have her in her merlin sleep suit i have her in her kite baby sleep sack um which is what she takes all her naps in and then we do the merlin sleep suit at night for sleeping so i put her in her sleep sack so she can sleep on her stomach because they cannot sleep on their stomach if they're in the sleep suit so she's in the sack and I have her in her crib right now. And so far, so good, kind of, kind of. She has woken up though, but it's just been so much easier to get her back to sleep in there versus in her bassinet. For some reason, if she's in her bassinet, she wakes up, it's like, get me out of here. So I don't know if she's just kind of like growing out of it or what. Actually, that makes sense that she might be growing out of it. I know a lot of people transition their babies at like five months, five, six months into the bedroom. And believe it or not, she's almost five months. It makes me want to cry thinking about it. <laughs> anyway, so um, she's in there right now sleeping. I watched The Other Woman. I forgot how much I love that movie. So funny. The Redhead Girl. I can't remember what her name is in real life, but she's hilarious. Um, okay, I watched that. I ate my dinner. And I just finished my pump and now I'm gonna get ready for bed and read my book that I've literally been reading for months it feels like um, and I'm really not that far in reading with a baby is literally so hard so I was like maybe I should get a Kindle because like when I'm feeding her I could be reading on my Kindle like when I'm doing a lot of things I can be reading on my Kindle when I'm holding her I cannot be holding a book and her at the same time so if I were to get a Kindle, which Kindle should I get? Like simply just reading. I really don't need like a Mac Daddy like Kindle. You know what I mean? I don't even know. I should look up the kind of Kindles. And is a Kindle worth it? Let me know. Some people have told me before I need to get one. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Because I like books. Like I like the concept of having a book. And then I like to be able to put the book on the shelf when I finish it. But it's just really hard to hold a book and read when you have a baby. So maybe I'm going to be entering into my Kindle era. I don't know, but I do want to be entering into like my reading more era. So at that point, I'm like, whatever I got to do to get it done. But anyway, yeah, I thought Colin would be home by now and he's not. So he said that it's taking longer to film than he thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready for bed and then I'm going to get in our bed and I'm just going to keep the baby monitor on on my phone and just keep checking it because I miss her. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm really tired too. I miss her and I like being near her at all times so it's weird for me that she's in her crib but also if she sleeps better in there then I'm okay to like maybe do the transition into the crib earlier than, earlier than I thought we would but also I don't know if she's teething or what but she is like having a hard time sleeping <laughs> like I was very surprised today when she took a two and a half hour nap 
Um, and I know that babies can get teeth like early. Like, well, I guess she's almost five months. And I know a lot of babies get them by six. I don't want her to get teeth though. That makes me sad because if she gets teeth, then that means she's getting older. <sighs> Being a mom is so hard. Why am I about to cry? This is what happens when you're alone and you don't get alone time very often. You get in your feels and then you just start crying. Hello guys, next day. Um, Sutton lasted until 5 a.m. in her crib. No, 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 2 a.m. in her crib. And then woke up screaming, so I fed her. And then we just put her in her bassinet. Woke up again, fed her, like, you know, all the things. I'm in my picking up kava after my workout era, too. I'm in lots of eras. It's also just a thing right now to say, like, I'm in my era. I think, I don't know where I got that from. Um, I must have heard it somewhere because now I'm saying it all the time, but probably the what we said podcast, honestly, but, um, I just went and worked out. I'm proud of myself because Cole and I are definitely like majorly sleep deprived and like we're really, really exhausted, but I'm still prioritizing my workout. Like it doesn't matter what time of day I need to go. I've been going a lot to the noon classes, but I still am going to get it done because at least like that will help keep my mental health. Like, you know good at bay I don't know what I'm saying but anyway I got the same exact order that I got last time so nothing new here nothing special but I'm just gonna mix it all up and then head home um so I can go and feed Sutton but yeah man we are we're like literally tired and it's really hard to vlog when you're so tired honestly like it's just I feel like right now with her waking up is worse than when she was a newborn for some reason. I don't know why. But it's so hard right now. I always forget how much I love Kava. It's so good. I'm kind of like Kava over Chipotle, even though they're two different things. Mm. We're back from our walk. Sound machine's on because she's about to take a little bitty nap. Can you grab your passy? Look, it's right here. Grab it. There you go. Um, so I took her and Murphy on a walk because it's supposed to storm tonight. So I figured I'd get that out of the way. There he is. Um, and now I'm about to put her down for a nap. Oh, you get your leggings. Okay, cover your handsies. Yes, you're tired. Yeah. Good night. Yeah, just kidding. Mommy's gonna rock you. Sutton is asleep successfully, and also earlier today, the somebody from Facebook Marketplace finally, I'm so thankful, came and uh, got the bed frame. So we don't have the bed, big bed frame in here anymore, and it feels so much less cluttered because that was definitely taking up space. So I'm so glad that I sold that and also but right now I'm just sitting here doing the computer work because I have a video due today and I need to get that done while she's napping. So I'm going to be here doing this. Also I wanted to mention that Stanley Cups are now on Amazon so if you want one I don't know if they'll still be in stock but they're on my storefront which is always linked in the description box. Um, so yeah.